Oh no, I landed on Illinois, so I have to pay rent. Abdullah, it's time for crime. Okay, coming. Oh, your big girl. Oh no, I have to give you some property. Quickly. Okay, quickly. I have to give you this. I have grown lessons to do, I'm going. Okay. So you guys also leave your games and join me in the lesson. Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Read the Quran the easy way. Lesson number 15A on rules of law. Law is recited thick if it has fatha or double fatha. So over here in Rahimun, this law has fatha on it. That's why we must recite it thick. So repeat after me twice. Rahimun, Rahimun, Rahimun. Rasuli, Rasuli, Rasuli. Kathiran. Over here in this law at the end, it has double fatha on it. And that means the law must be thick. Kathiran, Kathiran, Kathiran. Sagiran, Sagiran, Sagiran. Ra is recited thick if the letter before it has fatha. Over here in Wal Ardi, this Hamza has fatha and it is before Ra which has sukun. That's why we must recite the Ra thick. Wal Ardi, Wal Ardi, Wal Ardi. Arsalna. Point number two. Ra is recited thick if it has dhamma or double dhamma. Over here in Khayru, this Ra has dhamma on it. That's why we must recite this law thick. Khayru, khayru, khayru. Ekthru, ekthru, ekthru. Ghafurun. Over here, in this law, which has double dhamma on it, we must recite it thick, because it has double dhamma on it. Ghafurun. 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 Dhikrun. 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 Ra is recited thick if the letter before it has bumma. Over here in Al Quran, this qaf has bumma on it, and after it is ra with sukun. That's why we must recite this ra thick. Al Quran. Al Quran. Al Quran. Zurtum. 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 Khusr. 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 So remember, we just learned two rules of Ra. Rule number one was that Ra, when it had Fatha or double Fatha on it, or if the Fatha preceded the Ra, then Ra was thick. And point number two, if Ra had Dhamma or double Dhamma on it, or if the Dhamma preceded it, then it had to be thick. It was very easy, right? And that's the end of this lesson. May Allah help us to recite, understand, implement, and propagate this Quran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.